Morning Hot Spotters, Rob Potter here from Photography Hot Spots. This morning I'm down at the Twelve Apostles, which is one of the most iconic places in Australia to come down and take photos. In this review I'll be showing you how to photograph this location, all the ins and outs, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks very much. Alright guys, so I've come in out of the cold. If you couldn't tell in that video introduction, it was freezing. So I'll cover that a bit more in detail soon because it was really blowing quite hard. So I'll talk to you about that because that's certainly going to impact our images. But what I've got here is Google Maps and this actually gives us a really good bird's eye view of the 12 Apostles. So this can sort of help us sort of work out where we're going to set up and take some photos. First things first, so if you are traveling to this location, you can see there that they've across the road, they do have a car park. I guess depending on how busy or when you do go, will depend if you get a car spot or not. Now, I did go during the week, which certainly helped. I took a week off work and, and went down and uh, and into the 12 Apostles. So that's certainly, there were certainly plenty of car spots or car parking spots there. The other way you can do it, there's plenty of buses that come along here. Obviously, lots of different tourist companies run different trips down the Great Ocean Road to the 12 Apostles. So that's certainly one way that you could come here. And then once you've parked, there is a uh, tourism center right there. And you can if you want to splurge out a little bit more too. They've got the helicopters right here, which would have been really cool. I didn't go for it this time, but uh, certainly next time I'd love to do that. And then as you can see, you get your walkway, which then takes us underneath the Great Ocean Road and then around to the 12 Apostles. So I've got some videos and photos to show you guys in this little review. Uh, and most of them were taking, taken from here. Now, I went both sunrise and sunset. And I think I, could, I certainly got the better photos at sunset. Uh, again, the only trouble that I did have was the wind. So I went in October and both for sun, sunset and sunrise, that wind just didn't seem to let up. It was it was um, gale force nearly. I, I, it, yeah, take my word for it, it was quite insane. Now, from what I hear, the wind does blow quite heavily throughout the Great Ocean Road for most of the year. I couldn't tell you what months it doesn't. But it probably would be worth finding out if you if you do have the flexibility of of uh, working out or pre planning your trip down to the Great Ocean Road. So okay, so we come along the path here, and here I'm going to show you a photo of this soon. Is the stairs that sort of leads down and around. Now, it's really there were heaps of photographers setting up here. I decided to sort of come down and around and really sort of photographed most of most of the 12 apostles here um, which gave me an interesting angle of it which you'll see some photos of soon um, and then of course we have if we go out this way we have gibson steps beach which is just over here so for sunrise you get the sun coming up in this direction so from behind Gibson Steps Beach and from sunset you actually pretty much get it coming down from here. So depending on what time of the day obviously here is all good for sun uh, sunset. I'll get that right so sunset. So that's all in here and then down here is really good for sunrise. Um, now let's check out some video so you can sort of see exactly kind of what it looks like. So this is this is me standing here looking this way and I will play that back and we'll hit play on that and hopefully you can see just how hard that wind is blowing you can see all the sea breeze and that sort of stuff flying past but if we go back here are all the different apostles so this is sort of the you can now sort of get a bit of an idea of the the angle or the sort of photo that you can capture from this location and if I keep going, you can see that up here is that walkway and then down and around. So I guess this way you sort of get more of the apostles sort of grouped together, while up there you will certainly get them more spread out. And up there you also, as you can see, here's a sun setting. So sort of off there. Up there too, you probably get them sitting behind uh, these apostles here but not this big one so that was one of my other reasons for running down here I could capture this really big and well-defined apostle where some of the other ones are sort of starting to sort of crumble away a little bit um, which is another great shame with these apostles that they are sort of slowly deteriorating unfortunately so let's hit play on that so we've got the walkway this nice little limestone and that was that one. And then I do have another one from Sunrise. Now, unfortunately, Sunrise, when I went, was a bit of a non-event. 
didn't really happen, but it still gives you a bit of an idea of what you can expect. So this is standing pretty much the same spot. I probably walked two meters the other side and threw the camera, well not through the camera, but popped the camera up uh, on the other side. As you can see, here's Gibson Steps Beach over here, two more of the apostles. And normally you get the sun, I'm assuming sort of rising up from over here, had all this incredible fog, but I didn't really feel like I sort of captured too much. Um, but you do have all this nice foliage at the bottom of your images. So that sort of gives you a bit of a, a video idea. But to talk about some of the images that I was able to capture. So this one here, again, is at sunset. So shooting back towards the 12 apostles. Um, and this is shooting quite wide. I was using a 14 to 24 on a crop sensor. Um, but I was shooting as wide as that would go. So that would probably be the close, to, let's say close to 20 mils. 20, sorry, 20 millimeters. So that's one, that's two. So this is now coming back up and around. So you can see the walkway is a bit closer. I'm now sort of walking back up and around that way. And then again, still sunset. And then again, here's the walkway that sort of takes you down that way. And there's the sun setting and some of the, the apostles there. Now the next two or three images that I want to show you, I haven't actually worked on, so they're not going to look as gorgeous as what these are, but I, I still wanted to show you them anyway, just because it gives you a bit of an idea of what you can capture. So this was taken at sun uh, sunrise. This was shoot, shooting back exactly the same way as this one here, but I thought I'd show you this one because it sort of shows you that there's the moon. So you know, there could be some good sort of maybe, it is quite a way out of the city, so you might be able to get some astro stuff happening or something like that, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, you'll, you'll certainly capture the moon there. Uh, this is, again, shooting back the other way, so we sort of showed that in the video. Um, this is Gibson Steps Beach, and that one there. And then this one is sort of right at the start, those steps. I would love to capture a photo here. I think this would be a great composition. Um, I just didn't have anything there. And as you can see, it is a along here was a, another very popular spot for photographers. So it certainly would be one of the places that you'd also like to check out. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps. Uh, the 12 Apostles, look, out of 10, I gave it an 8. Um, it's, it's certainly a place, if you want to read the review, I'll put it down in the notes below. But it's up on Photography Hotspots. The best time to go is going to be up to you, sunrise or sunset, and certainly beware of that wind because it was crazy. Um, but really, it's, it's really only going to be good for landscape photography. You, you really have to have some patience. There's going to be a lot of people there. And as you would expect, it is one of the most iconic places in Australia to take photos. So just have some patience. Um, but I mean, the, the, you are sort of shooting along a fence too. So you don't have to really worry unless somebody goes crazy. You don't have to really worry about having somebody jump out in front of your shot. So, so that is good there. But again, if you're in Victoria or even if you're a landscape photographer in Australia, this is really one of going to be one of those locations that you're really going to want to check off the, uh, the old photography bucket list. Uh, guys, as always, I hope that helps. If you like these videos, please share them and I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks guys. Happy snapping. Bye. Visit photographyhotspots.com.au for more great Australian photography locations.